stages of legend in the late 19th century were riven with the bullets of Oscar Wilde's deadly wit whenever his drawing room comedies were performed. I'm Clinton Wilson. I am the online customer retention manager. Oscar Wilde has always been a favorite uh, poet and playwright of mine. He is most known for his novel, uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and uh, a lot of his plays, in, uh, hysterical plays, including The Importance of Being Earnest and Lady Windermere's Fan. Uh, his poetry isn't uh, as well known as his uh, prose and plays, uh, but his poetry rings with a little more sincerity than the farcical nature of his uh, his uh, prose and, and plays. Sonnet to Liberty by Oscar Wilde Not that I love thy children, whose dull eyes see nothing save their own unlovely woe, whose minds know nothing, nothing care to know, but that the roar of thy democracies, thy reigns of terror, thy great anarchies mirror my wildest passions like the sea and give my rage a brother liberty. For this sake only do thy dissonant cries delight my discreet soul, else might all kings by bloody knout or treacherous cannonades rob nations of their rights inviolate, and I remain unmoved, and yet, and yet, these Christs that die upon the barricades, God knows it is I am with them in some things. Cat Perry of the online department reads another work by Oscar Wilde. Magdalen Walks by Oscar Wilde The little white clouds are racing over the sky, and the fields are strewn with the gold of the flower of March. The daffodil breaks underfoot, and the tasseled larch swings and sways as the thrush goes hurrying by. A delicate odor is borne on the wings of the morning breeze, the odor of deep, wet grass and a brown, new-furrowed earth. The birds are singing for joy of the spring's glad birth, hopping from branch to branch on the rocking trees. And all the woods are alive with the murmur and sound of spring, and the rosebud breaks into pink on the climbing briar and the crocus bed is a quivering moon of fire, girdled round with the belt of an amethyst ring. And the plain to the pine tree is whispering some tale of love, till it rustles with laughter and tosses its mantle green. And the gloom of the white elm's hollow is lit with the iris sheen of the burnished rainbow throat and the silver breast of a dove. See, the lark starts up from his bed in the meadow there, breaking the gossamer threads in the nets of dew, and flashing adown the river, a flame of blue, the kingfisher flies like an arrow and wounds the air.